Okay. All right, so here we are on Sand River, and I'm using the IS-2-2, and we're in a Tier 9 battle. Teams look fairly even. Um, to Artie, I decide, you know what, I want to go brawl with mediums. And I kind of get stuck right here. Okay, so when I say brawl with mediums, I want to go over to like around A7. And I'm gonna, I'm assuming their mediums are gonna go that way, so that's why, that's why I want to go that way. And I see there's two mediums coming this way, so that's good. Since it's, you know, four mediums in a game on each side, so if two come this way plus myself, it should be a fair matchup if all their mediums come this way. Okay, I see they have two heavies in the middle, and we lost our light tank already, which is not really a good sign. Because light tanks are kind of important on maps like this. So our Udez is pinging the map up there. Okay, our tier 9 heavies down in the middle. Our other heavy is camping base. And he's a decent player, so I don't know what he's doing. Okay, so there's three mediums up here. I'm surprised that nothing's been spotted in the middle yet. Like, I don't know where... Okay, now there's a light tank. I was just about to say I don't know where the light tank is. But he's out on the other side of the map, so that's good. So I'm going to look over here to my right. And just kind of look and make sure that nothing's over there. Because I want to move up on these guys. But I don't want to get shot on in the side. Oh, IS-3. Okay, let's back up. Okay. So I've got to be careful pushing this. Because I'm wide open for Artie. Artie can hit me. And his IS-3. I don't know what he's doing. I want to push, so I'm, I'm just kind of waiting, waiting, looking, <laughs> making sure nothing's going to come up on that side. And then I decide, you know what? Okay, let's let's just do this. I also noticed our Canaveron's coming, so that's good. He should help push. Okay, AT-15 is also there. I want to get over to the rock on the right side, right there, right in front of me. Oh, T-69, T okay. Swirl. Swerve, I mean. Okay. Wait for my reload. Okay, now I'll just try and shoot this guy. Try and side scrape off this rock right here. I was able to get him in a track. Able to get him in a track again. Now I'll just wait on my reload. Okay. So we're just there's a there's a lot of, of enemies over here, so we're just gonna push up. We're we're gonna play a little aggressive here. fight this IS-3 right here. Oh, dang it. I was trying to get a tracking shot. Okay. I did get a tracking shot that time. I want to keep him there. It's another tracking shot. Here comes the Udez. There goes IS-3. And this Canaveron decides to come right, right behind me. Instead of on the side of me. Okay, no shot there. Now that's a bad shot. I should not have done that. Never auto-aim on a Udez. Because you aim for the middle of the tank and it's almost always a, an auto 
auto bounce. So that was my fault. I would have had that kill, but I screwed up. Okay. And Artie's gonna hit me. <laughs> that kind of sucked. Well, I had to repair my driver. I was gonna drive around with a dead driver. So we're winning the field. Now there's a bunch of TDs. So this part's a little bit tricky because the TDs are probably camping near their base. The T95 is spotted. Okay, STRV is spotted. Okay, I'm going to wait right here and see if anybody spots anything in those bushes right there. Okay, Type 59s are spotted. Dang it. Bounce his turret. We'll wait for another shot. Is he going to pull forward? No, he's backing up. Okay. Here's one shot. We'll wait for another shot on this Type 59. Okay, well, he's dead. So I'm still kind of worried about what's there. I know the STRV was spotted. And I'm thinking, well, I don't want to push up and get farmed by the STRV. You know? But at the same time, that T95 is looking mighty juicy. So I'm kind of like sitting here trying to decide what I want to do. And I decide, you know what? All right, let's just, let's just go for it. We'll just push the T95 and try and get damage on him because it looks like he's almost dead. Okay. And I steal the kill. Perfect. Okay, so now we're just gonna come up behind this building in case there's someone up there so I don't want to get shot. Anything? Nothing yet? I don't know what STRV is. Okay, we're just gonna push now. Push down and come up. I see the two TDs over there so you can only have one TD up here. And if it's one-on-one, -on -one, I don't mind those odds. So we're just gonna push up here. And there he is. Let's get up there and see if we can get a, get some damage on him. Also, the two Artie have not been spotted. I'm going to assume the Arties are back there like JK0 somewhere. I'm slowly going to get up here. Slowly. Dang it. He gets killed right before I can get there. I'm spotted. I'm going on this way just because I think the Artie's going to be over here. I'm actually surprised I have not been hit by Artie yet. I figured a big slow moving tank like this, they'd be aiming for me, but not yet. Alright, you guys get to on cap, which is fine. Oop, there's the Artie. First shot. Aiming the second shot. Oh, that was a bad shot. Now that shot, I don't know where that shot went. That was fully aimed. And that should have hit him. Okay, the Udez killed our... I mean, the STRV killed our Udez. I'm just going to try and kill these artillery. Okay, I don't want these guys shooting at me. Well, he gets a shot off. Oop. And our artillery kills him. So I just got to kill this last Artie. Yeah, and our tier 9 TD is sitting at the cap, not really doing anything. Okay. So SLV rushes me, I track him once. And I'll have going to try and retrack him. I get the retrack. Artie's coming, so I'm going to back up. Okay. I'm going to kill the Artie. I'm going to keep backing up. Because what I want to do is I want to get this STRV in our... For our Artie to hit. To be able to hit. See, like, the Artie are saying, you know, make sure he can hit. So, I want to back up and try and get in a different position. Because they can't hit him behind that hill. So, I'll just keep backing up for now. 
I'm surprised he hasn't come after me, to tell you the truth. I keep looking around, looking around, seeing where I need to go. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to go this way, get up out of this dip, and go around and try and get behind the STRV if he's still there. I still haven't seen him yet though. So I don't know where he is. Okay, right here I get lit. But I didn't light him back. So that's kind of weird. So I'm going to get up on this ridge right here and take a look and see if I can see that um, see the STRV. I figure he might be in the bush right there to my left. But I, I'm still kind of confused at how come he, he lit me and I didn't light him back. Okay, he's not there. So I'm going to go down. Now I'm going to head to the bush. It's right over there by those pine trees I'm looking at. And I don't know if I'm still lit. So I'm not really sure what's going on. Or where he... Alright, our artillery got lit. So he's got to be over there. So I'm going to head back that way. This STRV is actually a pretty smart player. He's playing pretty well. And he's got really good camo. Because <laughs> he's able to move and I, I couldn't spot him. So I'm going to go ahead and get on cap. And we're just going to make that STRV come to us. Because I'm not going to chase him because obviously He's got really good camo and he's pretty quick. So I don't really want to chase him. So I'm thinking he's over there somewhere. So I'm going to look this way. Okay, our 212 got hit by something. And he's pinging the map over there. So I'm like, okay. Well then, I'm going to stay right here behind this bush because I have not been spotted yet. And I'm thinking to myself, you know what? He knows we know where he's at. So he might tra try and change his position. So what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to get behind his artillery. But actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my tank around. I'm going to put my butt there we go. I'm putting my butt against that guy, so in case he decides to flank around this way, I'll be, I'll be facing this way and ready, ready for him. If he comes up behind me, I can reverse side scrape. And I ping the map to watch out for that spot. Oh, and there he is. So, at this point, I'm just going to rush him. I'm going to try and track him again. So once I get him tracked, already hit him, he's perma tracked, he's done, he's dead. I'm just going to keep him tracked right there. And am I going to ram him? Nope. Already killed him before I can ram him. And that's game. Uh, this ends up being an ace tanker for the 3,500 damage I did, 1,900 assists, so that's what, uh, 5,400 combined and three kills. Not a bad game.